Okay, well, the important thing is now, I wrote down the, uh, that acronym for what we're saying, like, bad boys yell, girl girls, whatever. Because I'm pretty sure that's code for something that we're going to need a little bit later on. Um, but now, we still have one more mystery, and that is what the heck this odd-shaped part of the wall is. So let's see if we can open up these safes. Maybe that has something to do with it. Let's use our, let's grab our toolkit and see if we can open up these safes. Ouch. You set off a spike trap on the safe. Ouch! You're not sure whether it's safe now or if the trap has rearmed itself. Okay. You crack the safe using the Mark II toolkit. You take the healing potion, throwing dagger, and five crowns someone was foolish enough to leave inside. Okay. Well, I'm really bad at disarming traps, apparently. I thought the toolkit did it automatically, so I didn't have to worry about it. You set up the thieves' toolkit and try to disarm any traps that may be on the safe. Oh. Do I have to, like, is this... What am I doing? Um... How does this work? Am I, like, playing, like, Tetris or something? What, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Oh, okay, there we go. So I just... You have successfully disarmed the safe. Alright, that was just kind of a weird little minigame. Kind of caught me off guard there. Okay. Uh, let's crack the safe. Using the Mark II toolkit, you quickly manage to get the safe open. Inside, you find six crowns, nice. a throwing dagger, and a potion labeled Poison Cure. Poison. They seem a fitting reward for your efforts, so you take them. Cool. But that still brings us no closer to figuring out what the heck this it is. It doesn't budge. There's nothing else on the desk, right? You leaf. No. One of the final entries says, Fred and Frank caught out at night without hooks. Fred. The log closes with some incoherent ramblings about... Okay, um... Gosh, I, has, I know it has something to do with this barrel, not. but I can't... Oh, now, the barrel, now we can do something. Comes out. Instead, the barrel slides across the wall to reveal some sort of mechanism. This is a door unlocking mechanism. To operate it, push each of the tiles until all nine tiles have been set to the correct pattern to open the door. Oh, I know what the pattern is. Oh, wait, I think it told me. So, here we go. So, uh, bad boys yell. All right. Good girls grin, and then whatever RGR stood for. There we go. There we go. We got the. D oh God, it's horrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Get away from me. Get away from me. Ah. Which way? You must excuse me. I, I'm not quite myself. Oh anymore. God, you bug anthropomorphize Peter Laurie. Get away from me. Oh, don't worry. I won't hurt. I, I promise that won't hurt you. Talk to someone again. It has been so very long since anyone has been Dude, here. Dude, you realize what's going on? You, you realize what's going on with your face, don't you? My manners. Welcome to Mordav. I am the chief thief here. I'm also the only thief here other than you, but that is beside the point. Oh, God, I don't... I... If you weren't the chief thief, I'd be running away in fear, but I feel like I need to suck up to him, even though he's a dirty cockroach. You don't have any rations. You better get okay, some food soon. I need a bug. Well, let's... Uh... I'll introduce myself. Hi, I'm Sticky Feet, uh, international uh, spy of fame, blah. Pleased to meet you. It's so good to have someone of my own kind to talk to again. All right, well, I'll give him my resume. Interesting. You have had a good deal of experience. If you study up on trap disarming and thief signs, you will have almost every skill you need to become a master thief. Perhaps even a chief thief like myself. Okay. <laughs> As you generally do when making the sign, you go through the motions of performing the thief sign to the monster. Don't call him a monster, he's your boss. Well, of course you're a thief or you wouldn't be here, idiot! Tuck that elbow in tight on the belly rub next time. Cannot believe I'm getting... I, I, oh, it's a bug. It's just a bug. I guess I... Alright, off to... Oh, can, I, can I do anything? You want some water? You are a very brave and honorable man to offer such a thing. Are you certain you are in the right profession? 
Do you want to be a thief or some kind of a hero? The two roles are usually mutually exclusive, you know. Not for the sneaky feet. I am a jack of all thiefy trades. All right, let's find out more about Bug. How in the heck did he get like this? Uh, you, really, uh, you look a little weird. Do you like it? I'm afraid it is not very becoming. And to think I once despised cockroaches. Um, is it, is it fun to be a gigantic abomination? Do you think it's fun to have six legs and no matching socks? Do you think I enjoy running around frantically and stopping suddenly for no apparent reason? <laughs> Do you think it's fun to look in the mirror and wish you had a giant fly swatter so you could commit suicide? Is that your idea of fun? I really use a fly swatter to kill cockroaches. You idiot! You! You! Oh, forgive me, I'm just not myself lately. And how did you end up locked behind your own wall? I made a terrible mistake and broke into the monastery one night. It had been abandoned for years, and I thought maybe something had been left behind there. I discovered a secret passage to the basement. That place gave me the creeps. I felt like something was watching me all the time. When I got to the basement, I discovered a small statue I could easily take. When I tried to pick it up, I felt very, very dizzy. Probably just a bug. When I awoke from my faint, I looked like this. You can imagine my horror. Horror. Okay. Well, what can it I do? It would be too dangerous for you to help me. If I, a master thief and chief of a major guild, dare not go back to the monastery, you would be wise not to even think of such a thing. Bullshit, baby. I will fix this up for you. Uh, let's see. Well, let's find out. Um, what's your name? My name? Oh, you can call me Chief. No point in being informal here, just because no one else is around. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, the name is just Chief. That's fine with me. Alrighty there, Chief. Castle? There is a little known secret way into the castle that I will someday reveal to you when I think you are ready. Oh, come now. Jesus. Uh, you tell me now or I'm going to squish you under my little thievey boot. This was once a thriving training ground for new thieves. They would come from miles around to learn the trade here. If only we were not completely cut off from the rest of the world, this would be the greatest thieves guild in the whole world! He's very excited about this and he fell asleep. Wake up! Wake up the thieves! After I became such as I am, many of the members left. One thief said that I was no longer fit to be chief. After I showed him how fast I could throw daggers with these feet, <laughs> he didn't say much. Wow. Never how do you hold anything with those burrs? <laughs> yes, yeah, we get it, yes. You... The ones that left said they felt uncomfortable around me. Fools! Do they think this is some sort of brotherhood of man? This is a brotherhood of thieves! They should be uncomfortable around You'll recognize this guy's voice from later on, where it gets a lot goofier with a different character. They decided to explore the castle after the new owner moved in and never returned. So now, there's only me and you. Uh, um, okay, let's see what else we can find out from him here. Secret passage! You mean this passage behind me? It leads out of town under the bridge near the gate. You can use it to get out of town, but you cannot get back in. Oh, that's a shame. The door can't be opened from the outside. That makes no sense whatsoever. You have to be very careful with traps. Always check for them first. Take your time disarming them. One mistake can be your last. Uh-huh. Uh, well... Okay, let's see. Um, let's at least figure out what kind of jobs we can do around here, and then I think we are good to go. Yeah, what kind of jobs? Uh, we are not exactly set up right now to fence stolen items. There are several places around the town where you might be able to find a bit of loose cash, though. Hmm. I will tell you what. You go out and steal something from someone in town, and come back and tell me about it. If it sounds like you know your basic thief skills, I will let you know where the really good places are. Interesting. Okay, so now I have something to prove. All right, so now we have we can do our finally our first thieving. All right. Uh, bye. 
must you go so soon? We were just getting to know one another. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna save and then honestly, there is really only room for one thief in this town. Oh! Well, okay. The chief monster's acid spit started by dissolving your hair, then your skin, down to your bones. And so on. You weren't really paying too much attention after the skin part. Great. Okay. Interesting. So he's got... Why would he actually want to be turned away from this? He can throw daggers with all six of his legs and spit acid. Well, whatever. Let's go back to the, the Adventurer's Guild and see if we kind of, uh, kind of trouble we can cause. Very slowly. I think we can learn something from these books over here, too. Uh, let's see. Read the books. Which book do you want to read? There's more than one. Oh. Talk Fu, Hero Magazine, Creative Casting. Talk Fu sounds interesting. Maybe I can learn, like, some fast talk. This book teaches the ancient oriental art of talk fool. talk fool. How to overcome opponents by attacking them with the unpronounceable names of martial arts forms and confusing them with fortune cookie wisdom. You get lost somewhere between karate and kuksul. What's kuksul? Let's see, there must be something in here that gives me a point for reading. How about Hero Magazine? As you scan through Hero, the Journal of General Job Adjusting, you find quite a bit of information that might be useful here. There are a series of articles about the land. Oh, wow, he sounds a lot more bored in this take. The town originally grew there are a series of articles about the land. Blah, 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 blah. Or local noblemen assigned the role of guardian. Indy, I am so glad that you are not dead. The chapter on fauna describes a number of interesting creatures. The Necrotor is a vicious carnivore with big, sharp teeth. Big, sharp, nice teeth. Some of the other monsters sound even more horrific. Do not want to meet that one. In the forest lives the Lishi, a creature known for playing practical jokes on travelers and playing riddle games, but which can also be helpful to those it likes. Which is probably not a lot of us. You learn about the Rosalka. Oh, yeah. The spirit of a murdered, unmarried woman. Such spirits are said to inhabit lakes and rivers. They try to avenge themselves by drowning any man foolish enough to approach them. What do you mean, marrying them? <laughs> by reading this magazine thoroughly, instead of just browsing through it. Isn't it nice that we included a complete copy? And look, the they box? put a little happy face in there. Wow. The book turns out to be an advertising brochure. It says... I, Dr. Cranium, being of sound mind and body, will become the subject of a major computer game. The Castle of Dr. Brain from Sierra Online. Jeez, how cheesy can you get? Uh-huh, yeah, you, you got my sentiments right there on you, Johnny. All right, well, last book we can read is Creative Casting. Maybe we can learn a new spell from it or something. The book is all about using spells in unusual and creative ways such as calming a fire, using alternate flame and frost spells to make something brittle and break, and so on. You pick up a number of useful tips which will improve your spell casting. Well, that's good to know. I wonder if that will actually come in handy. I can read it again? You read through the book on spell casting techniques again. It hasn't changed. Okay, well, great. Thanks for making that an option. I wonder if that like, increased my magic uh, abilities. Let's find out. Uh, so, oh, and it's going to be approaching evening, so yeah, I can finally do some thieving, too. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see, magic has gone up to 106. I think that actually has. Communication's gone up a bit. Health, intelligence, blah, blah, blah. Alright, I can do some working out here to build up my strength, but instead, let's just go get a really quick nap, and then let's see if we can go find something to steal for the thief, uh, or the head thiefy dude. And then I think we'll try out the monastery the next day. See what's in there. We haven't even gone outside the town yet. Let's see if I make it up to the window now. Somebody might see you during the day. All right, fine. Oh, I need some food anyway. The door is locked and probably barred as well. All right, hello. You hear movement on the other side of the door. After a few minutes, you hear someone removing the bar and unlocking the bolts on the other side of the door. Well done. That we have solved the door knocking puzzle. All right, how's life on the stool the there? The yes, I know it's exactly the same as it was before. Let's get some food. Some food to go down right about nice right now. And you have some garlic pheasant for supper. 
this is actually not a bad deal if um, I'm getting garlic pheasant for free with my room and board. I just love how I sneak everywhere. This makes me so, it just, it, it thrills me so. And this place has a thriving garlic plantation nearby. Do garlics have plantations where they grow on trees? Or do they just like pull them directly out of their, oh, and, and the sun just went down, like immediately. Well, let's rest until evening, or at least rest for like an hour or so. Yeah, that's 60 minutes. After some rest, you feel better. All right. Uh, nah, one more, one more hour-long nap. I think will do good. After there we go. It's really good at putting our stamina back up. All right, good, good, good. So now that we are well rested, let's go do some crimes, man. Okay. Now the lights are still on at the Burgermeister, so I'm kind of leery. That someone's might still be in there. This heavy wooden door guards the entrance to the Burgermeister's office. Let's listen at the door, maybe. The Burgermeister's office is closed. A sign says, office hours, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Perfect. The Up at the window. Can I listen at the window? The window is... All right, well, let's try and get in there so this way we can really impress the chief thief with our thieving abilities and it'll teach us all kinds of cool stuff. While the lock doesn't seem very complicated, your tools can't do much about the deadbolt and bar on the inside of the door. Damn. All right, how about the window? You attempt to pick the lock on the Burgermeister's window. Yeah, come on. You'll need some more practice at this. Damn. You attempt... You'll need... You'll... you'll I can get in there. You'll... You'll... You'll need... You'll... You attempt... You'll need... You'll need... Let me you in. You'll, I can do this all day. You'll need... Oh, Jesus, I'm using up all of my stamina on this one window. But hey, at least I'm making some really good points here, right? 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 206. I think I've gained like four points. You attempt... You'll need some more... All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go try... There's one other place I can break into. Let's go try this other one. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Let's try this door. As you start to open the door... Oh. You hear footsteps inside. Someone's awake in there. I should have listened to the door first. Uh, let's see. Listen at door. Open door. Break door open. Knock on door. No one responds to your knock. The occupants are either absent or asleep. All right. Um. How about the window? How about, can I open up that one? That didn't do anything. Pick lock. What did that say? You are the lack the luck to. You lack the luck to lick this lock. Great. And like I'm almost passed out now. Wonderful. All right. Well, that means I got to go pick and take another nap or at least I can God, I, I cannot believe after all of this thieving, I'm still Oh, well, let's rest for a after couple some... minutes. There we go. Let's get back at it. You you need... Damn it. All right, I just don't I don't think I have the skills necessary here and I don't want to sleep all day After But I must You're this is what I do I'm glad there's no one watching that'd be embarrassing. All right. All right, whatever And you know what? I'm not even gonna sleep in my room. I'm just gonna sleep right here for you know reasons you know what? It's still... No, no, no. Let's not yet. It's still early in the night. Let's rest a little bit longer and then we'll go to sleep. We'll try one more... One more cycle After, of this. Get, I'm getting tired. It, After resting all that much. Not, as you... As you... Alright, pick lock. Cannot believe this is taking so long. I should be able to break right in with these like new Mach 3 tools. That's just embarrassing, sneaky feet. Slink away in shame and go sleep outdoors. Ugh. Just disgusting. Let's see how many points I got from that. 13. Alright. Went up alright, I guess. Maximum I think of this game is four, 400, I want to say. Which means we yeah, we still got a long way to go. But I'm so lucky. Look at me. Whatever. Well, let's take a nap. Let's sleep here. 
Zonk. Oh my. Dream bubbles. You feel the sensation of floating freely in a swirling cloud of magic. You are warm and safe, surrounded by the sound of peaceful beauty. You feel as if you are suddenly totally alive. You can remember every happy moment of your past, taste every favorite sensation, hear all the colors. Taste of every you. color of the rainbow. This is the true joy of living. No, this is the true joy of LSD. Oh God, we're coming down. I know you're concerned for me, buddy, but sit down and relax, and no one wants that. Well, maybe this one that looks like a big, gigantic, golden penis. Tuck that elbow in tight on the belly rub next time. 